Hey y'all, it's your girl Tishonda Renee. I'm back with another video. Today I'm sharing an easy crock pot meal idea. I'm making chicken and stuffing. And um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I do it, please stay tuned. This meal is really simple to make. All you're gonna do is season your chicken and I'm using um, chicken breast, but you can definitely use um, chicken thighs uh, i would recommend boneless skinless chicken thighs but um i didn't have any today so i'm just using what i have and that is two chicken breasts and to season the chicken i'm just going to use a little salt black pepper garlic powder and onion powder oh and i'm also going to use some poultry seasoning and you can either season both sides or just season it heavily on the one side like I did and then rub it all together. Um, once you have all your seasonings on your chicken, you want to go ahead and add it to your crock pot. And I have my crock pot set to low heat. I poured the extra seasonings on top of the chicken. To a separate bowl, you want to add your can of cream of mushroom soup. To the bowl of cream of mushroom soup, you want to add a small amount of black pepper and some chicken broth. And as always, I'll have all of the ingredients and measurements listed down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and mix that together well. Okay, now you can set that bowl aside and you wanna add some butter on top of the chicken. Next, you wanna add your box of stuffing mix on top of the chicken. On top of the stuffing mix, you wanna go ahead and add your mushroom soup mixture. Be sure to completely cover the stuffing mix with the mushroom soup. Once you completely have it coated with the mushroom soup, go ahead and add your top and allow it to cook for about three and a half to four hours. So I came back to check mine at about the two and a half hour mark. And to me, it looked like I needed more stuffing. So I did add another can of mushroom soup and another box of stuffing. From there, I allowed it to cook for another hour and a half, and um, then it was all done. If you would like, you can um, take the chicken out and pull it apart, and then add it back and stir it all together, but I just chose not to do that. So this recipe is really good. It's full of flavor and very simple to make. Um, I hope you will give it a try. If you have not already done so, 
please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.